guys, welcome back to my channel. We are off to Hail Mai today and we thought we would take you with us for this gallivanting vlog. Nothing else to say, enjoy. Peace out. Hopefully that went to plan, otherwise you won't see this vlog. Uh, but we did buy some books. We each bought three books, which is unlike Liam. 
So I'm yeah, quite surprised. No. I but bought books before you started buying them. You books. did. And you were trying to get me to buy certain books that he would like. And I was like, hmm. Anyway, would you like to um, go first in showing them your books? Yeah. So, first of all, I'm going to start with childhood nostalgia. I grew up with the Assassin's Creed games because I'm a gamer and I love games. And at the time, I read the books, which I haven't read in many, many years. And I was actually thinking about it recently. So when I saw these... Well, the closer so they can, they can see them. <laughs> when I saw these, I just had an instant surge of nostalgia and impulse. Yeah. I decided to buy those. And then I also bought uh, Cormac McCarthy's No Country for All Men because the movie is one of my favourite movies of all time. And I've been interested in reading the book for quite some time. And since I'm starting to read a lot of the novels based on, well, novels of films that I've seen, I decided to give this one a go. Liam's gotten really into audiobooks. It's been very interesting. Yeah. He's enjoying my script while I am not. <laughs> <laughs> Liam did very well. I also did quite well. The first book I picked up sounds absolutely awful. Um, and I have no interest in reading it, but I'm sorry. I couldn't put this down. This was... Do you want to tell me the price of yours? This was all four ninety five. Books are cheap then. There you go. Um, <laughs> I picked this up. And it is called The Man Who Rode His 10-Speed Bicycle to the Moon by Bernard Fishman, Fiskman, I don't know. Um, what you do? I did. I just was kind of obsessed with this cover. It's got like little blue spread edges. It is from I don't know. Nine. It was from nineteen some seventy something. He said, or the sticker said. Who truly knows? Uh, nineteen seventy nine. This is the first edition, and I found it really cool that it said four pound twenty five when someone bought it new, and I spent more than that on it now. Um, so that was fun. This was six pound. Honestly. I just couldn't put it down. I was like, I'm going to regret buying that. But then I actually thought I'm going to regret not buying it because I'm so obsessed with the cover. I don't know. I may as well show you it properly. So, yeah. No. And then the hardback looks like this. And there's actually like a little um, outline of something. But you can't you can't see that. But, yeah, I don't regret it. I'm really glad. Do you want to see? Yeah. It's like a Oh, it's the bridge, bridge. thing that's on there. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the bridge that's on the front. Um, so yeah, I don't regret this. I have no desire to read this. This is going to go on my collection shelf because I'm a collector, not a reader. Uh, the other books I bought, I got The Parable of the Sower by Octavia E. Butler. I've been wanting to read this for ages. I almost picked this up last time I was there. Everyone talks about it. Everyone says it's really good and it sounds really good as well. Uh, I think it's going to be like a very scary read because the fact it's kind of like our life is now and this was supposed to be the future. Um, but yeah, I'm going to... Gonna... words. <laughs> I read a lot of words, yes. Mm. Uh, so I'm actually really excited to pick this one up and I've been wanting to read it for a good while, especially now there's a sequel out, I'm intrigued. And then the other one I bought was really difficult to pick which one because there was a few of them and I really liked them. I'm probably just going to buy the box set now that I found out how much cheaper it was. But this is Northanger Abbey by, or just Northanger, Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen. I just am obsessed with this edition. And I found a box set of these editions and I was like, wow, so I'm probably just going to buy them. I'm not really sure if I'm a classics gal. Never tried a Jane Austen in my life, funnily enough. I do own a fancy edition of Emma somewhere. Who knows? Um, one of the Chilton classics. I think it's over on that shelf. Um, but I didn't... I'm not going to read that edition anyway. But I just... I'm obsessed with these covers. I just think they're so stunning. So yeah, I picked this up and I have no regrets. It sounds good anyway, so we'll see. I am now a classic reader. <laughs> Far from. <laughs> anyway, that was just our quick vlog of us going to... Where did we go? Hey, hey on my. my. Um, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this really easy vlog. Have you ever been to Hail My? Let me know. Uh, it's quite, pretty close to our house. I'm surprised we don't go no. more often. I mean, I say close, about an hour and a half away, but you know, that's close. So, whatever. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.